The letters of Qalqala are five, and they form the mnemonic Qutb Jad. And the purpose of Qalqala is making the sound of these five letters audible and distinguishable when they have sukun. So when we say وَلَقَدْ أُوحِيَ إِلَيْكَ وَإِلَى الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِكَ So, when applying قَلْقَلَ properly, it would be possible to easily distinguish the د from the ب. And without it, these two sounds would be very similar. قَدْ قَبْ that was the main purpose why Arabs had this technique in the first place. However, some learners tend to add qalqala to letters other than these five. And when this happens, the sound of these letters will not be properly pronounced. And that is, of course, a very common mistake, especially with new learners. Let's have a look at some examples to understand this even better. The first example will highlight how adding qalqala to the letter he will sound like and how it should properly be pronounced. First, I will show the mistake and will let you hear what it sounds like so that you can recognize it if you have this problem. And afterwards, I will show you how you can correct it and how it sounds like. <laughs> so, ihidina is not correct. Ihidina is a mistake. What we should say is Ihdina Ihdina Sirat al Mustaqim. So directly after the ha, there is a dal, and that is it. Another mistake that is found in Surah Al Fatiha that involves adding Qalqala needlessly is in this ayah. إِيَّاكَ نَعْبُدُ وَإِيَّاكَ نَسْتَعِينَ So, saying نَعْبُدُ is adding qalqala needlessly and this should not happen. So, you should say إِيَّاكَ نَعْبُدُ وَإِيَّاكَ نَسْتَعِينَ Another mistake related to adding qalqala to letters other than the five is adding it in the middle of the word on a ta that has sukun on top. Like in this example. So, fataratin is a mistake. And it should sound like this. يُبَيِّنُ لَكُمْ عَلَى فَتْرَةٍ مِّنَ الرُّسُلِ Moving to another example of this common mistake, but this time with the letter ضاء. When it comes in the middle of the word with sukun on top. Specifically in this word, الظلم. Let's have a look at the example and see what kind of mistake can happen in this ayah. فَمَنْ أَظْلَمْ This is not correct. أَظْلَمْ is wrong. فَمَنْ أَظْلَمُ مِمَّنْ افْتَرَى عَلَى اللَّهِ كَذِبًا When the letter ضَاد comes at the end of words and you have to stop at the word, this is usually one of the most common mistakes that happens when people stop at the ضاد because they mistakenly add qalqala to the letter while ضاد is not one of the qalqala letters. Let's have a look at this example and see what the mistake sounds like and how we can avoid it. إِنَّ فِي خَلْقِ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ That is not correct. You should not add the qalqala to أَرْض and say أرض. That is not correct. And this is what it should sound like. إِنَّ فِي خَلْقِ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ also, the same can happen with words that end with the letter meme. 
تحيتهم يوم يلقونه سلام. So adding that قلقلة to the meme is wrong. When you end with meme, you should just end with the lips closed. تحيتهم يوم يلقونه سلام. So in conclusion, letters that receive قلقلة they receive it for a reason, and that is to show these letters. If any other letter receives qalqala, it is not necessary and it is not correct to apply qalqala to any letter other than these five. Thanks for watching. If you want to start your journey to learn the tajweed of the Quran, you can click on this link. And if you want to understand the Quran in Arabic, then you should click on that link. And finally, I hope you've learned something new today, and I will see you next time.